Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So I've been doing a lot of neon and glow in the dark recently. It is Halloween month. So today we're going to do a vase. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. We're going to do it with black. So the black is going to offset all the fluorescent colors. Um, so first I'm going to go over setup and then I'll tell you the materials real quick. So this is just a dollar store vase. I have it sitting on top of a cup and that is so that I can easily move it off. This is a canvas underneath, which is going to catch all the runoff paint and it's going to make it into a two for one painting. All I've done to prep the vase is to clean it with alcohol. So, um, we're using the black, which is uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. And then these fluorescent colors are Liquitex Basics. They came in this handy little six pack and then in the green is mixed some folk art super glow I will list all materials down in the description these colors are all mixed with flow trawl and a bit of water so here we go um, this canvas is I think I said 10 by 10 already uh, which only takes about six ounces of paint that's so not actually that much. Get a little more black in there. And this is going to be a dark vase, a dark canvas. That's okay, it's Halloween. Okay, I think we're at about six ounces. I'm just going to put the rest of any of this green in here because remember that is the glow in the dark. Okay. Good. So now we'll put our canvas, our base on our canvas. You can put it wherever you want, but I generally put it in the middle because that's the easiest. And then we're just going to pour right on top of the vase. I like to do kind of a tree ring. You want to try to pour evenly. So if I notice that one side seems to have more paint, I'll go to another side and add more paint there. Okay, it's looking very black right now, but I think the neons are gonna come out a little more. Just in case, I am gonna add a little more neon. So I'm just throwing some in my cup. But like I said, it is going to be dark, so that was planned. Alright, so this way it won't be quite as dark. It's still going to be pretty dark though. Okay, so next step is to just let this sit here for generally about, I don't know, five minutes or so. And we'll let that drain down. Once it's more or less stopped dripping, we'll move it off and then we will do our canvas. Okay, good. So this is more or less slowed down on dripping. I'm going to gently lift this up, move it to the side. I have never yet dropped it, though I've gotten pretty close sometimes. And I feel like this canvas is going to come out really dark. That's okay. Um, may end up just using it as a background. We'll see. But either way, it's going to glow in the dark and that's going to be cool. Yeah, sometimes with the black and the the fluorescence, the black can just totally swallow them up. There we go. 
All right. So I'm going to just turn this around here so you can see all the sides. Gently turning it around. Looks pretty awesome. Really like this, this side over here. <laughs> and I think that's going to be super cool. All right. Let's do a quick close up and then we will see how it looks in the dark. All right, so here's the canvas. Actually, I actually really like it. The colors don't pop as I was hoping they would, but still really cool. And then here's our vase. I can only show you this one side for right now, but I did turn her around earlier, so. Super cool. All right, so I'm using my friend, the black light, for a little help. So you can see. The fluorescents look awesome. Oh, there's the orange and pink in there. Looks super cool. And then this one pretty much just looks green and black. But you can see a little bit of some other colors. And then let's see how it looks in the complete dark. Uh, I found that it doesn't show too well on the camera, but you can generally see it for about a second or so before it fades away. So here we go. There you have it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will be doing one more of these. I've already decided doing it as a clean pour because then the colors won't mix as much and I think I'll be able to get a way better contrast, but I'm still very happy with how this came out. So thanks for watching. See you next time.